The Bible talks about the lake of fire. Okay? And I just want to mention this because there is so much confusion today about what the lake of fire is, what hell is, okay, and what it looks like and what takes place there and so on and so forth, okay? Um, you've probably all seen a cartoon comic or something on TV that shows the devil in a what color suit? Red. Red, right? With a, does he have a tail? Yeah. With a triangle on the end of the tail? Right? And then what's he holding? A pitchfork. A pitchfork. Okay? All right. Listen. <laughs> Do you think that description of the devil came from here? It didn't. That's not what the devil looks like. Okay, that's uh, a cartoon depiction, and it's really stupid. Okay, um, a demon. Okay, demons are real. Okay, they are fallen angels. Okay, according to the Bible. Okay, um, in, in in movies that you've seen, okay, that depict something about the underworld, uh, are, is anybody at home in hell and comfortable there? No. Who? The devil, it's like his home, right? I mean, he, that's where he lives. He, he lives in hell. And he's, he's like happy in hell. If, you know, the, the way that he's depicted in our culture. The demons are happy in hell. Okay? And what do they do in hell? Party. They party. They have a good time. And then the people that are in hell, they like punish the people. You, you, you've seen this, right? That's, that's most of the time. Like if, you're, if you learn about hell from somewhere other than the Bible... You would think that hell is the home of Satan and the home of the demons, and it's where bad people go, and then they're tormented by the demons and Satan for the all of all of, it, all of eternity. Right? That is so stupid. Okay, that's 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 not the picture of the Bible. That's right. That's not what the book says. Okay, Satan and the demons are not in hell today. Do you know where Satan is today? Huh? On earth. On earth. He's walking about. The Bible says. In the book of 1 Peter, he's walking about as a lion, seeking whom he may devour and destroy. You know where the demons are today? They're here. They're not in hell. Do you know why hell was created? Matthew chapter 25, verse number 41, I think it is. The Bible says, hell was created not for mankind, but for the devil and his demons. When the... When the devil is cast into hell in Revelation chapter 20, right before the great white throne judgment, okay? And the demons are cast into hell. They're cast into hell there forever to be tormented. The flames of hell are there and they were designed to contain the devil and the fallen angels that have fallen him who are referred to as demons, okay? Hell is not their home. Hell is their eternal resting place of damnation. It is where they will be judged. For all of eternity, where they will be separated from God. Okay? This is not a pleasant place. There's no partying in hell. There's no booze in hell. There's no anything that provides pleasure in hell. There's no love in hell. It's just torment in hell. Okay? And the Bible says it was designed for the devil and for his angels. Now the Bible says because we're sinners and we've separated ourselves from God, that if we die without being forgiven, then we will also spend an eternity in hell. But the demons won't be tormenting us there. The fires of hell will be tormenting us in hell, and it will be according to God's judgment upon your life for the things that you've done in your life. That's what the Bible teaches about hell. So there's so much confusion, right? You know, the Bible says that, that Satan uh, transforms himself into an angel of light. He doesn't walk around in a red suit with a pitchfork advertising who he is. He works in very deceptive manners to confuse people, and it almost comes across as something that will be good for you, okay? So, let's let the Bible define to us what hell is, and let's, let's, let's take that proper understanding uh, with us whenever we leave here, okay?